you want to build a beach resort in your Minecraft world? Stay tuned and watch the video to find out how. Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to Hopeful Games and welcome to another episode of the Let's Build a City series where we focus on building simple and easy builds for Minecraft cities. On today's episode, we got working on this modern resort building, which I think turned out pretty good. It's got nice little access to a beach and features four units per floors with balconies per each one. So without any further ado, let's get into building this building. All right, guys, to start building this, we're going to be using light blue concrete, white concrete, and white stained glass. We don't have a lot of room to work with here, but we are going to try to make the best of it as the road does start right about here. So we're going to be starting right on this block right here. We're going to be going up in a three wide section. Whoa. Um, just like so. Another three wide section like that. And then another three wide section starting right there. Making sure that I'm not lined up with the building beside it, of course, for aesthetic reasons. Um, but that's basically going to be that. Then we're going along here doing a three wide section like that. Then we're gonna do this cool bump out here, which is actually gonna feature the balconies. So we're gonna do something like this with a three wide section right there. And again, right here, and then a three wide section. Oh, whoa, three wide section, just like so. That's gonna give us our nice little balconies like that. And then we're going back for another three wide section right here. Again, this is a relatively small building um, if you compare it to, you know, I guess another building in the city and you know this is a casino that we built last episode it's relatively small compared to that but I think it'll still do a nice job here and it's small buildings I think really help add detail to your city remember without small buildings there aren't really any big buildings like if you just have all big buildings they just all look the exact same like I feel like to make a big building look bigger you add small buildings around it which really makes it more dramatic which I think definitely helps um, anyway we're gonna go along here now and add uh, more and more white concrete like so just again laying out in the three wide pattern that we laid out at the beginning of this video um, and here we go okay so we got that so far now we've used our white concrete and what we want to do now is incorporate the light blue uh, concrete in this build so what I'm doing is I'm gonna be building the little window almost like a curtain, I don't know what you even call these things, a little sidings to the windows though um, of the light blue concrete. That's gonna give us a really cool look like so, and uh, let's give that a shot. This pattern is actually gonna continue itself um, just throughout the build here, and it's just gonna go along every single window. It kinda adds, uh, it just adds a little more depth, I suppose, in the way that you look at the windows. It also just makes the building more interesting, of course. If we just left these as big open windows, they would not be as interesting, so it definitely helps with that. All right, now that we got all that done, we're going to go ahead here and start working on little balcony areas. I'm kind of tempted to bring this out another block. In fact, we're going to go ahead here and do that um, just like so, just because it's going to help add just a little bit more detail to the building. Um, on the first level here, of course, we'll actually get rid of this balcony once the building's been cloned. But for right now, we're going to leave it at that. There we go. We'll fill all this in. And now we have the ability to fill in the inside with a nice birch plank. Just like that, we got our floor in place, and we're gonna go ahead here now and work on our balconies. We're gonna have white stained glass here on either side um, for the balconies. So this is gonna be a four unit building, and I'll show you how we're gonna lay that out as well here. So there's a window here in the middle, which kind of makes it a little bit awkward. I guess I can just draw a wall right through it, and that these would be the size of the units. But um, I don't know, this is kind of be like the hallway area right here, and then you have entrances to all of them. Um, they'd all be divided like so, and that would be kind of like one unit, very small units, but um, I don't know, I think they do the trick for sure for a little beach uh, resort. So I'm just going to leave it actually laid out like that, so if I, in the future, if I want to come lay out interiors, I know my layout, but I'm not going to go ahead here and build it because we are just focusing on the exteriors of buildings in this series. I'm doing this cool little thing with the balconies right now, which is um, we're going to bring the glass up here. It's kind of like what they would do on a cruise ship or something where you can see through the next balcony, but it has kind of this cool glass design. It kind of helps it step down. Um, makes it a little more awkward than if you just throw a wall up here. It really divides the building. You know what I mean? Like even if you brought it right out, it's like, what what happened? So uh, I prefer to use the glass method. Of course, you can go ahead here and do whatever you like. And uh, it's raining. That's not good. Uh, weather, weather clear. Oh, did I do it? Yeah, okay, perfect. So I'm going to copy that over to the other side now. And, uh, and I think that's going to help complete the little balcony design that we were going for. Beautiful. Some torches are all that we need to add now. We're going to go along here on each wall, on each actual pillar in between the window areas. We're going to go along and add torches because that's just going to help the building uh, light up at night, make it look really good in the city. I'm liking that. It's looking really cool. What we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, clone from this corner over here. And we are going to get some glass or sand falling, I should say. I'm just going to remove the stuff that's in the way right now. We'll place it back here after. Um, that's actually all the sand, I believe, that is in the way for this build, which is perfect. And then we're going to be following the regular clone command structure, which I always use if you guys don't actually follow or if you haven't seen the video 
that I made on how to use the clone command and the fill command. I highly recommend going and checking them both out on the channel in the Minecraft tutorial playlist. I believe that's what it's called, something like that. You can go ahead and, and watch those because those are both very useful for these kind of builds. Um, there we go. We've got it up to that level. I think what I want to do is go up one more block on this guy here and make it a little four-story resort building. I don't think that's too bad of an idea there. No, actually, that looks pretty cool. Um, we could go actually a little bit higher than this building. That might also look kind of interesting. However, it is a relatively small building. Yeah, actually, for whatever reason, I feel like this should be two stories higher than it is. We can try it out here, and if we don't like it, we can bring it back down, of course. But let's go ahead here and give that a shot, see if we like that. Um, we're going to go up to 91 with it. This might just look ridiculous at this point. Um, no, actually, it doesn't look that bad, and I kind of like it at that height. So, you know what? We're going to be going with that as our final, and here is the next trick. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the roof on, and if you guys follow me, you kind of know the tricks I use. I put another story on, and then I just delete the story, but that gives me the roof line already filled out. It's kind of not necessary with these buildings, because you could, because you, you could, wow, just use the, uh, just use the fill command. However, when you're going on, like, these weird shape buildings, if you do that trick, it's way easier, because then you don't have to fill in that weird shape again, right? This is just a big square, so it's pretty simple. In fact, we are going to have to do a little bit of editing here because we're going to have to fill this all in with white concrete anyway. So it probably would have been quicker to go the other way and just use the fill command on this. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about right now, it's totally fine. I know it's kind of confusing. Um, <laughs> but what I'm talking about is when you clone another story on, it keeps the pattern of the floor below. So you can easily fill in this, the roof line, kind of like we would over here. If I clone that building up, I would have got this entire roof line. I wouldn't have had to fill it in by hand. You can't really fill this in with the fill command, but you could have done it with that one. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're going to go along here now and add a light blue concrete stripe along the ceiling of it just to add a little bit more depth again. And uh, you guys see I do that in a ton of my buildings, practically every single one. I think it just adds so much to them, makes them look complete. And guys, that is basically going to do it for this building. What you want to do now if you're on like terrain like this is what you want to do is just kind of fill in the entire base, all the sand underneath here. You want to fill it in so all you see is that white concrete making it look like you have a full foundation on the building that's actually being supported by something rather than just sand. For the most part though, we got it all good. What we want to do is just real quick, uh, get rid of this little balcony here at the entryway because that's going to be in the way of the actual entrance of the building, of course. Um, you can have the, uh, the, the back one, at least right now. This will maybe be the little lobby in here. And then uh, you enter like the elevator or whatever. I think the elevator would probably go probably right in there. And by the elevator, I mean ladder simply, but something like that. And then you'd have an entrance way. I don't know how I would format that, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. In terms of how you go about that and then you can still have two units on this side just with this nice little view so there you go that is basically all you need to do to build this uh this really cool little resort uh, modern resort building and uh, i think it ended up turning out pretty good anyway guys that is going to do it for today's video if you did enjoy don't forget to go below leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys all in the next video